Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video, but I just saw a video the other day of a guy totally disassembling one of these little pistols to do something that he didn't need to do. And he spent like two hours on something that should have took three minutes. Now, uh, this is a stuck CO2 cartridge, CO2 cylinder, that is inside this gun. It's stuck. Now, sometimes you'll get these, and they will not be perfect, and they'll stick. Now, this one in here stuck. Normally, here's take the other one here. You're just going to have the cylinder. Now, my kids should know better, but if you over-tighten these, if you over-tighten them, you will cause this cylinder to deform a little bit. So it's giving you fair warning, and that's probably what happened here one of the kids, so I'm just going to put this in here like so, and you see it shouldn't be a problem, right? Same gun, same little 2240 Crossman. However, you will run across this, and it's not on purpose that it happens. It's just something that happens. So what I typically do, and I've already done it with this one, is I'll take a center punch like this, and this is going to be a quick, easy video. Now, you guys want to see the rebuild parts that are used on these, they can really soup them up. I'll put you some links to these parts. This one here is the uh, the valve in it, the firing valve in it right here. And that one, if you'll notice, it's been really tuned nicely. It's been kind of machined. Gives you a lot more firing power out of these. So they're already around 400 and I don't know, 50 feet per second. You get them to about five and a quarter easy with some of these little mods. And there's lots of videos on it. So I'll take that and just take and put a center point into that and then what I got next is and you can use anything like this this is not complicated you can use any type of self tapping screw now because it's a little bit of a long throw I've got this mounted in here and get it unplugged and I'll show you here what I do I'll just take this screw and I'll hold it like that and let me get somebody to hold the camera right quick all right, so Kira's going to hold the camera because it is her gun after all. And I'm going to take that, and we're just going to go down into that cylinder. And I'm going to put that self-tapper. Now, don't push too hard, and it might, but the, the, the uh, cartridge might spin a little. There we go. So now you have that mounted into the cartridge. And then just taking a pair of needle nose, we will then remove it. Okay. So we'll get that one removed. Here, watch out, son. Okay. Takes a little bit of effort with a needle nose. So as you see, you have it removed. So that's now out, and you finished the whole project without having to destroy your gun. Now, a lot of these people, they'll take the whole gun apart to get into the back here. That means everything. That's removing this piece out of in here and everything else to shove something through to get that out. Don't do that. You, you, your seals will get damaged in the process, and if you don't have a rebuild kit, don't even attempt it. So this is a full rebuild kit. So don't even attempt to do that unless you must do it. But generally, this little repair right here pulls the whole thing out, and you don't have to worry about it. That cylinder is now out all right that was a pretty simple setup on how to do it you just need something like this either phillips or or a uh, quarter driver style that you can do that with and it just comes out so easy that you don't even have to worry about spending all that time taking these guns apart because in my case here Oh, there we go. It just self-tapped in there, and there it is, removed. Not too bad. So if you can see that one, you can probably look and see it's just a hair deformed right there, right along this side here. It's just a little misshapen. So, and they'll hang up. They're made to go in there pretty, pretty, pretty tight. But now we can check it if it's got any kind of issues. You can take a little brush like that, 
and very gently, I wouldn't recommend this, it's this little strong, strong bristles, but take something like a little copper brush and just gently clean it and then be absolutely sure, even after you've uh, used this to get that uh, air cylinder out, that cartridge, CO2 cartridge, as long as, you, when you got that out, that little powerlet, once you've done that, take air and blow air, lots of air down in there from a compressor or something and make sure that you don't have any metal shavings that came out of doing this and you're good. So, and always put your Pell gun oil on the tips of these when you slide them in. There you go, guys. Ah, off the wall video, but God, after seeing people struggle doing that, I figured I better show you. All right, y'all be good. We do a lot of this stuff.